Yo. Yo. What's going on? Not much. How are you? Mm, good. Did you win any money? A little bit. Did you? Did you? Uh, uh, Nick Wright unlock of the week. Oh yeah, he said he was going to call again today. He, he must. Said, but uh, we can't say there was a lock because he was bullied into it being a lock. Oh yeah, that's right. It's just uh, did he come up with a different name for it? I don't know. He, but he's only got the one lock of the week. He that's it, one, which yeah. he'd already done. So I don't and, know. I just said it was the unlock. He said, "Fine, lock it up." Yeah, I know, right? I mean, he did as soon say as he that. He said that. I was like, "Boom!" Yeah, we got another lock of the week. <laughs> that's money, it. Money, money, money. I take Philly. Well, how did he do? Didn't he? He lost. He, he did lose? Yeah. yeah. That okay. lock of the week was Minnesota plus three. Oh, that's right. It was Minnesota right. plus three. Oh, man. Yeah. And Nick. Baltimore over the Dolphins, which are the two uh, games I yeah. won a lot of money and on this Cincy week. And Dallas. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. That's too bad. Well, you know, you can do like what Lazo was saying and just listen to the lock of the week and keep that in mind. Like, here's his record. Mm-hmm. If he's at 0-4 or whatever, you could think yeah. of it as he's due, due for a win eventually. You think of it, odds are it's in my favor. I mean, he's batting 300. I mean, if you're a baseball player, it's good. If you're a better, it'll, you know, wind you up in a rehab. Yeah. But, you know, hey, you got to look at it from different ways. Absolutely. That's you're a, if you're playing baseball, it gets you to the Hall of Fame. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Glass half full. Mm-hmm. That's your way of looking at things, Lazo. You ever find yourself, oh, I, mean, I know you have a million times in life, where you say something, you start to say something, or maybe you said it, and you've had a couple minutes to let it sink in, and you go, I don't know that that sounded right. I don't know that that came out right. Like, maybe I maybe I should have been a little clearer. You know, we, maybe uh, the worst is if it's on Twitter or something like that, and it's written down, and then you share it, and then people can take a screenshot if it's gone or, or whatever. And you go, sure. I can see, okay, I should have worded that better. It happens to lots of people. It happens to celebrities. It happens to have everyday Joes, everyday Schmoes like us. But did you see this thing about the, the restaurant that did the 9-11 themed menu yeah. for the anniversary? Yeah. Now, as a crisis manager uh, for hire, which mm-hmm. I think you should be, w- when you read that story, first of all, did you think, how did they let this get as far as it did? Or did you think, hey, I think everyone's making too big a deal out of this? Uh, I thought both. maybe you would even be shocked both. a little bit by I it. was at both. Like, are we really making that big of a deal out of it? Also, uh, you know, did you not think maybe not, maybe not? I know they talk about like commercializing holidays and, and things like that. And like Juneteenth, remember there was some controversy sure. about ice cream flavors, something people were already trying to capitalize on it. But that does happen with holidays. This being, uh, you know, not a holiday, but a, a Memorial Day, it, I don't know. I mean, I, sure, they sell the plates and everything else. It was all that pro patriot stuff. But sure. the menu thing, Snowcone, did you see any of the menu? I didn't. Okay. So this is, this is I mean, Some from what I can tell. Some of it sounded delicious. Yeah, and from what I can tell, this is real. I really thought that I was going to find something that said this was an internet hoax, but I cannot. It seems like this actually happened. It was a, It's a restaurant in Virginia, and it says that uh, they're apologizing after their 9-11-themed menu um, prompted backlash online. The menu was entitled Patriot Day 2022 yeah. Seafood Sunday. Yeah. Okay? The name of this place is The Clubhouse. Mm-hmm. It's in Stafford, Virginia. They advertised food and drink items for the 21st anniversary of September 11th, the September 11th terrorist attack. Although the menu has been taken down, it was captured and circulated online by social media users. So this is from a tweet. A tweet from Washington, D.C. man Brian Sasser shared the restaurant's promotion, which included dishes such as, quote, Flight 93 Redirect. Yeah. That was the name of one of the menu items. Flight 93 Redirect, which was a hot crab dip with crostini. Does that yeah. sound that that does sound pretty good? But sure. uh, flight ninety three redirect. That, that's see, that's where I think it. they lost me a little bit. Like none of the menu items really had anything to do right with the names. Yeah, like you know they could have done the twin towers and make it two stacks of onion rings. Yes, yes. Right, you see what I'm saying? Yes. That's where I think they lost their way a little bit. Yep. You said onion rings. I was thinking of the chocolate uh, towers or whatever. But, yeah, sure, something right. that... You know, the that onion rings on the stand absolutely. that they do. Yeah, they so put, they, you know, put them out together. Yeah. Right? But the hot crab dip, I don't know exactly what that is. And the name, Flight 93 Redirect, mm-hmm. is that suppo- is it supposed to be funny? I'm, that's a serious question. I don't know, to be honest with you. Okay, the next one was First Responders flat be- Flatbread. Yeah. First Responder Flatbread. It's loaded with shrimp. Tomato and garlic. Again. Yeah, I don't know where. I I can't figure out what they were going for here. 9-11 oysters. That was one of the things. Mm -hmm. Just just called 9-11 oysters from what I can (laughs) tell. on the nose. Yep, just 9-11 oysters. the idea you get 9 or 11. We don't know. There you go. Maybe that's how they fit it in. 20 bucks. You get 9 or 11. We don't know. Yeah. 9-11 oysters. The other one was uh, Freedom Flounder. Yeah. That doesn't sound great. Freedom Flounder. You would think at this point when someone's putting the menu together, they go to their boss and say... 
are we sure? Like, is this going to come off? Like, mm-hmm. and again, I really don't know what freedom their intention flounder. was. Freedom flounder. Okay. What you're? You, nah, I don't hate freedom flounder. Just because it kind of rolls off the tongue. Yeah, at least it sounds a good. Bit. I don't know a freedom flounder. So, and again, from what I can tell, this is a real story. For drinks, customers were offered. This is the name of a quote. Remember Teeny? What yeah. it's called. Which was a coconut rum, yeah, a coconut rum cocktail with key lime cr- uh, cream and pineapple juice. Then they also offered. So I don't understand why it's the remember teeny though. Right. You know, none of these make sense to me. Right, you're just jamming right. the stuff in there, mm-hmm. and, and it doesn't really make sense. And it's not funny. Um, it's also not like, like if the drink special was, you know, hey, coming to the bar and all day you get uh, one dollar Manhattans. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. People might, you know, they might be angry. They might not be angry. Right. I don't know. Right. Well, and like, okay, the other one of the items uh, for dessert was the uh, Pentagon pie, which was a chocolate dessert, right? Right. See, none of that doesn't like, make sense. Right. I mean, you'd have to come up with something like, you right. know, we bet you can't finish it off. You know, you'll only oh, be able to eat this no, much, you know something what? like that. See, or, I don't love that. I don't either. How are you going to? That's not funny. That, and know? I can't tell, really, if they were trying to be funny or if they were like, this will be a good way to show some patriotism and to help honor you know, the lives that we lost and the people who served that day and, you know, never forget, right? Right. But, boy, oh, boy, remember remember Teeny. Pentagon But if they did pie. Dollar Manhattans, you wouldn't think it was a bad idea, right? Well, right. So the problem is really the menu items themselves. Right, yes. So if they did, hey, come in, we're going to remember 9-11, we're going to do uh, Dollar Manhattans all day long. Uh, you know, I don't know, some sort of food items, right? Uh, and then... Uh, mix it up, and then said 15% of all the proceeds uh, go to first responders in New York City. Right. No one complains about that. It's like when they did the uh, COVID shots, and the right. bars were like, oh, it's it's alcohol, you know. Right. No, actually, and it's no one complains about that. Now, the most offensive one, did you see what seemed to make people the angriest? Mm-mm. It says, uh, I just want to read this directly from, what is this? This is MSN. Most offensive to some residents was the, quote, 2977 chowder, or 2977 chowder, on apparent reference to the death toll from the terror attacks. Mm. What? Jesus the chowder. Right. Like, they, whoever did this had to know that this was going to go over horribly, right? And then they I, just thought I maybe any publicity. That's what I'm saying. I can't believe that it's real. I, I And maybe someone will say, no, Dip S, if you just look a little harder, it is fake. Because I kept all these articles talk about it like it was a real thing. This person, you know, they took down the menu, but that these people had screenshotted it. I don't know. Appalling, someone said, a uh, post on Facebook. Uh, the restaurant, blah, 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 served with mem- it serves members and veterans of Santa Virginia. Virginia is home to over 780,000 veterans, making up over 9% of the state's population, according to the Virginia Department of Veterans Services. Other Twitters called the promotion vile, insensitive, and stupid. What if they did the Twin Towers as like, uh, you know, a Jewish deli sandwich? So it's like a big, and like a tall big, club too, right? A big, tall Reuben or something yeah. that you get in, and then again, all the proceeds go to you know, fifteen percent of the proceeds go to New York somehow. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's not the idea that people are upset that you would use a menu and food items to drum up business. People aren't mad at that. Yeah, people are mad that you didn't come up with anything better than a stupid freedom flounder. That's what people are mad about. Right. Well, this doesn't make any sense. So now you're just an sense. idiot and it makes us angry. Right. Because you But can if hear- you had reasons for it, yeah. right, then nobody would be angry. I mean, we have, you know, people run around in American flags as t shirts. Yes. No one cares about that. No, the, the problem is. But you got to have it. a reason for yeah. it. There's got to be some sort of reason. Yeah. The people saying, oh, well, you can't profit off of this. I'm like, yeah, they sold a lot of stuff on TV, that be- but because, you know, you didn't think of it as distasteful, possibly. Right. I'm not saying that, I, you know, no one did. But uh, you didn't think much of it. But then, and again, I don't know if this was actually, this is a quote that someone said here, uh, attempting to profit off 9-11 is gross in and of itself. But this themed menu is on another level. This person says, crispy oven-baked first responder flatbread. Someone really approved that idea. Again, I I just don't, I can't even believe that it's true. It doesn't seem real. But you're the kind of guy, Lazo, who would usually say, hey, we can spin this in our favor. Any publicity is good publicity. This will get people talking. But I don't know what you do if you get a call from them. We're always curious, no, can I, when we see I would go, think what, that, what? That, that you say, hey, it, you know, some of these items maybe weren't completely well thought out, but the intentions were good. And the one thing that they left off, even though it wasn't true, 
is that all the proceeds for that entire day went to the first respondents in New York City. Yeah. And then people were like, it did? You didn't tell anybody that. And you're like, yeah, of course it did. Right. Yeah, just, oh, I thought of it was... Of course it did. Wait, you didn't think you guys just, profit off of it. And then, the, you know, the media conveniently left that out of the story. Yeah. So sorry we didn't come up with better items. We just took items that we normally serve and gave them, you know, a reference to 9-11. We should have thought about that better, but our intentions were good. 